Well, hello, hello everybody. Today, for our circle time here on Keto Kids Yoga, we are going to do an art session because I already posted a video that is the yoga session. So now we're going to have our nice little art session and you guys can join along too. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture while I tell you guys the story. Are you ready? Make sure you have your paper if you want to also draw. And also maybe you might want to have some paintbrush because we're going to do painting. This is my new favorite thing. So paintbrush and some water. Yeah. And you can get your paints out if you want to do that. I'll show you all the stuff that I use. So I use my watercolor paints here. They're actually gouache. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use those. And then we also do use our Copic markers. So I usually use either the Copic, that's the sketch, that's waterproof, or the Copic Multiliner. This one is 0 0.1, but I also have a 0 0.7. That's a little bit bigger one. So I have all different sizes of markers, and I usually start with sketching with a pen. All right, so we're going. Here's our mechanical pencil, and we're going to start with drawing the picture. Yes, with pencil. Okay, so once upon a time, in a beautiful land where there was water and a mountain, the people who lived here were the dolphins. You can join me if you want. Draw your water here and your land here. You see how easy that is? I can even now do it in my ink. Sometimes I like to do first in pencil, but you can go straight to ink if you want. So here we have the water and the land. And who lived there but the beautiful mermaid and merboys and they're down here playing in the water so how we're going to draw them is first their heads here's two of them and then their bodies here and go down in the water and then we know yes their tails so join in with me if you want to this one the tail is going to be coming up like that and there and their arms and they're playing and they're splashing in the water and some of them have like very long flowing hair like that some of them have shorter hair looks like seaweed and then we are going to draw it with our marker i'm going to use the 0 0.7 marker and here we go. When the mermaids were swimming in the ocean, they loved to splash and play. And the water splashed up, splash, splash. And they found lots of treasures down in the bottom of the water. Oh, yeah having so much fun. All right. And when they found the wonderful treasures down in the bottom, they always shared them with all of their friends. And sometimes the treasures were things like bottles or shells or rocks. But sometimes they were wonderful jewels. And so on this day, when they were splashing around in the water, and the little mer boys and the little mer girls, they did find a treasure. And you can't believe 
that it was a magical treasure. Oh, yes. So magical. Why was it magical? Well, because when... Okay, there they are. Now we can paint them. When they were going around in the water, they saw the shiny thing. And then the shiny thing started to talk to them. And you know what it was? It was a magic jewel that had the power of talking. And they said, how is that possible? You can talk to us. And so then the jewel said, if you follow all of my directions, then you can find a lot more jewels because my family and I want to be free. And they were locked down in the bottom of the ocean. Well, let's just see about that. We are going to draw in some water. So I'm going to take my blue here, you know, and I'm going to just go around and around. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is a very chunky brush, I see that. And a lot more water. Water draws water, remember? All right, isn't that fun? Are you guys doing it? I hope you're enjoying that. And we're going to go around here. Mm -hmm. All right, and so they decided to follow the voice of this, of this treasure. And so the treasure told them, go down to the bottom of the ocean, and down there, there's a cave. Okay, let's find the cave. Here we go. We're going to splash down in the water. Oh, we have to paint this one too. Splash. I need a smaller paintbrush, which I do have. Mm hmm And splash. Yay. All right. Oops, that was too much water. And when there's too much water, you know what you can do? Get a little piece of paper towel and just soak it up. Ooh, look at that. came right up. All right. Everything is fixable. You know what my dad said? I tell all my kids in my preschool, there's no mistake in art. You just keep fixing it. That's what he told me, and I never forgot. All right. So then they splashed down to the bottom, and they got to an underground cave. And here's the cave down here. And inside the cave, let's make the cave be kind of like dark. I also have these other cool markers, which are, what color should I make it? Ah, how about this color? I have these that you guys know. I use the Echo Lime brush pen. And these you can draw on and even mix with other colors if you wanted to. And then you come back with the brush and the water and isn't that fun and so that's the cave right there Ooh, and then let's say the bottom of the ocean it's not a very deep ocean is it well that's okay and so in the cave ooh, what was in there so they they went down into the cave and sure enough there was the treasure exactly like what was described. And I'm going to do that not with a marker, but with some red, just some red. Maybe I'll use, let's see about a red. Ah, and sure enough, there was the treasure inside. Lots of little pieces of treasure. And they were talking to the mer boy and the mer girl, and they were saying, hey, Hey, you can get us and and then we can be free because we were locked down here. We can't walk. So can you please help us? And so there's all of the treasures. They're like jewels and different things. And so the mermaids and the mer boy, 
they did get the treasure. They grabbed it. And so they each have a, the treasures in their hand. And they're singing because they're so happy that they found so much treasure. And they were able to free the treasure. And so they brought the treasure out onto the land and they gave it to all the people. And so the treasure was dispersed throughout all the land. And so now that's my story. And now let's continue to draw, shall we? I think I'm gonna use a little bit of, um, let's see how we can do this. We can use a little bit of black and the, this uh, sort of like a dark yellowish brown. And I'm gonna put the black onto this one. That's what I was taught by one of my teachers. And then I can even dip that right into the water. I'll show you what I did. So I did that first, so it's gonna make it a little bit darker. No, it doesn't wreck it. Oops, where are we? All right, yep, the black onto the dark yellow. And then I'm going to dip that right into the water. Isn't that exciting? And from there, it's going to make a very dark yellow. So it's like the color of the land. And then you can see the yellow starts to come out more. And then I'll put the lid on. Isn't this fun? Story time with art. One of my favorites to do with you, my friends. So follow the yoga. And then when you're done with the yoga, you can come and do the art over here. Isn't that fun? I think that's going to be my new pattern. I'm doing this wonderful yoga with Once Upon a Story Time. And that's on Wednesdays. You can see it at Once Upon a Story Time dot live. Oh, isn't that cool? So it made the yellow a little bit darker. Now, if I wanted to change it up a little bit and add some different color, I could add, let's see, how about a little bit of this one? That one's like a little reddish. It's kind of like a reddish brownish color. There we go. And maybe I add that just a little bit like to the inside of the cave. We want to distinguish cave from land. So the cave is usually very dark inside, right? Yeah. All right, so I hope you all are doing very well and having fun time doing art and yoga at home. And I am very glad that you joined me for this little session. And so now let's just draw a little bit more around the water. I do like to use this color for, I, I like that when we did that last week. That was really nice, sort of like an, a line there. And then I'll come around with my paintbrush, yeah? I'm liking these echo line markers a lot, you know. You're going to see me be using these a lot. So if you want to get your own, you can find your own. Okay. And then we're going to come back with a paintbrush. And now I think I'm going to use a little bit of a different size. I think I'm going to use this medium size. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Are you guys doing your beautiful art too? I hope so. And would you send me a picture of what you do? Your mermaids, your treasure, your ocean. Maybe you'd like to make up your own story. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I always say that. Just enjoy the actual doing of it. It's just so fun. I really enjoy art. Sometimes I just forget about everything else and I just draw. And it's wonderful. And I hope that can be for you too. And if you have any questions or if you 
have like a something special that you'd like to do, let me know and I'll draw that thing too. What do you think of that? All right, one more little section. I'm dipping a lot in the water in between because I have this special paper, which is watercolor paper. And I really like how thick the watercolor paper is. So get yourself some wonderful supplies and you can be joining me every week. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'll be here every Thursday around 11 a.m. That's California time. Now, while that's drying, yeah, let's go ahead and color in the mermaids and the merboys. Now, what do you think? What color hair? If I said, ask that of my preschoolers, they might just tell me pink. I do have this red here of the gouache. And if I use that with a lot of water, oops, let's see. I know I need to clean my little system, but let's see what color this turns out. Maybe we can have multiple colors of hair. Oh, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the smallest brush. That's why I have different sizes of brushes. Let's see, see that one? That's a little one. So I have the little size, I have the medium size, I have this bigger one, and I have one other one too. I have a lot. So I'm gonna grab some of this red over here. See how fun this is? And then I'm gonna use my little brush and just color right there. See that came out kind of muddy, kind of dark red. Must have been I had more paint on this paintbrush. That's okay. Remember, there's no mistakes in art. We just enjoy and we keep adding more and more layers. You know, I feel like I'm a beginner too. I'm just starting out with watercolors. I have some friends who are very, very good at watercolors. Like really, really good. And so sometimes I ask them questions. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of pink. I have this nice pink. And I'm going to draw it right on there. It matches, doesn't it? It's a, almost the same color. And this one has a really nice tip. So you can pretend it's like a thick brush or a thin brush, depending on how much you push, how many layers you do to, it becomes how dark it is. Okay, isn't that fun? So, uh, she has another side here. She or he. Let's do their little mouth. Su boquita. And then this guy over here is going to have some brown hair. And what should I use for brown? Let's see. I feel that recently I've been needing brown and I haven't had it. I'm just going to use my furinosuke. Why not? This is not watercolor. So later if I go over with water, it does not change. It will be it will stay there. Although, you know, I do have watercolor pencils. Maybe I'll use those next time. How about that? And their little skin can be, let's see what I used before. It was like this sort of like orange brown color. I'm just going to borrow a little bit here, a little bit there and get a lot of water and color in their skin. Sort of like an orangish skin, don't they have? Maybe it's a brother and a sister, or maybe it's two brothers or two sisters. Remember, people come in all different shapes, sizes, colors. There we go. There we go, enjoying that little, this little tiny, tiny brush. Mm -hmm. Little tiny, tiny brush. And there they are with their treasures. And they're in the water. Now, what color do you think is going to be for the very last part? Which is 
they are fins. What color do you guys think it should be? Uh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> I pretend I can hear you. I'm going to make the hair fill in a little bit more here with a watercolor. So that was going to be brown with sort of like a reddish brown. All right, isn't that fun? Okay, so the last part is their fin. I really enjoy the fins part. I think what I'm going to do is actually make scales. Why don't we use our watercolor? Let's see. We have, aha, uh -huh. we have some more supplies. Watercolor crayons and watercolor pencils. Can't forget about these. These are the ones I used in my high school. Oh, there's the brown. But now I'm going to use blues. I'm going to get all the blues and all the greens. That's what I'm going to do. So why are they so dink dinky? Because, yeah, I've had these for a long time. I went to a Waldorf High School, so we were super into watercolor pencils. All right, you see all the colors? Okay, I'm going to put those down there so you guys can see them. And then little by little, let's go... Let's just uh, go blue and green kind of mixed. So I'm just going to do little scales there. Now these are watercolor pencils, so I can utilize that part. And I can add a little dab dab of water. If I go, let's see, the next one will be green. So I wanted to switch it up. So what if I don't color it in? What if... I just use my tiniest little brush and make sure it's super clean so it's not going to have any orange or brown or red. And then what if I just, uh-huh, kind of mix it up a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It's starting to mix a little bit. Later I can make some add definition if I wanted to. This one did not feel watercolor-y. I wonder if that's, okay, let's see. Also, you can take the, the pencil and you can actually dip it right into the water. That's kind of cool, too. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. And it becomes like a brush. I'm really liking that. Another fun thing you can do, now we're going for experimental, you can take your brush and you can wet the paper ahead of time. So I'm going to wet this little section right here. Oh, you can see somebody wants to come in. See how they're starting to come in a little bit there? Okay, now I'm going to use a different color. And I'm drawing now on wet paper. So that's different. Oh, just, just different fun stuff. Different fun stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, so today was a very special, long art session because we can, right? Mm, let's see, maybe I'm gonna dip, dip this one. And start to draw a little bit, maybe on top, blending some of them. There we go. Ooh, that's fun. I like that too. Something is telling me I need a little yellow. Need a little bit of yellow accent. I'm gonna dip, dip. Look at that, this tiny, <laughs> this tiny little pencil. It's like the size of my finger. Well, that's because yellow is popular, I guess. Ooh, there we go. A little bit of yellow blended in there. I like it. Now, if I don't want the water to blend in, on her fan, then I would have waited a longer time until everything's completely dry. All right. This is so fun. I can see it's almost like clay. It's starting to... Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, one more fin and then we can be done for today. And then we'll see you next week. All right? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Later I might do some more definition and like come in with a little pencil and like do a little shading, you know. 
with the pencil where there might be a shadow of a hair or shadow of her neck or there. Just a little bit of coming back with some different areas. The last fin. Hmm. What should we do? Copy of the other one? I liked how that looked when I did just the edge going like that. So I'm going to continue something like that. But don't worry, it's going to be still with scales. Still going to do some scales. We're just kind of having fun and doing whatever we want with our art project today. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm adding another color here, when I come back with a paintbrush, let's see how that looks. Uh, let's see, what color is next? And, oh, a little bit of yellow, remember? I really love these pencils, Karandash, I call them. I don't know how it's pronounced, but that's what I've always said. I love them because they're so creamy. <laughs> Speaking of creamy, I didn't show you the crayons yet. Ooh, watercolor crayons. Oh, yeah. Okay, and this last one right in there. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with some water and let's see how that looks. I'm just going to use the little, little paintbrush, not too much water. And we're going to just give it a little bit of mixing. Mm -hmm. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Hmm. How is yours turning out? Are you drawing all the colors of the rainbow in your fin or just one color or just a few colors? Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. And I believe we are done. What do you guys think of that? Did we do a good job today? I know that we could continue to draw all this up here, but maybe I'll continue off camera. And then when you guys uh, see next, I will show you the finished one. Uh-huh. And maybe I'll even do an outline of another one and post it so that you can color in your own. That's fun too. I love it when you do your own also, not just mine, right? All right, everybody. Well, you know I'm sending you so much love and safety, and I hope that you enjoyed this little session. Okay, see you next week. Bye.